Hi everyone, Jonathan Williamson from CG Cookie here, and I want to give you a little teaser of an update to Polystrips that we're working on. So just as a little bit of background info, remember that Polystrips is our spline-based kind of hand-drawn retopology tool that allows you to do things like this, where I've got my high poly mesh, I can draw out a stroke on my mesh, and generate this strip of polygons. Then I can draw another strip, and another strip, and I can do a lot of really cool work from mapping out the flow of my retopologized mesh. And this is all fine and dandy, but one of the problems with poly strips, and one of the limitations, has always been that if you draw out a strip like this, and then you draw another strip here, you are probably going to want to fill these two together, such that you just have a nice grid, all quad-based fill between them. And this is not that hard to do in edit mode, but one of the things that makes it time consuming to do is that your, your segment counts or your vertex count has to match from one strip to the next. So for example, if this one has six segments, then this one also needs six segments in order for this to fill evenly straight across like that and all the way down. Again, it's not hard, it's just time consuming, particularly once you have a lot of strips. So what we've built to try and solve this problem is a fill, a fill tool. This has been in the design of Polystrips from the beginning, but we're just now getting the first version of it done. It's, 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 we're calling it Simple Fill because it's still uh, a little bit limited as far as the scenarios that you can fill. Right now it's mostly just uh, straight squares, but let me just show you how it works. So if I select one strip and then I select the other strip by holding down Shift and selecting, and then I just press Shift F, it'll automatically fill those together. And you'll notice a couple of things. Number one, it's automatically connected both ends with an additional strip here and a strip here. And those strips then act just like previous strips. So I can go and I can adjust the handles. I can grab them. I can do anything that I might otherwise normally do. The other thing that it's done that's really, really, really key is that it has automatically adjusted the segments of my two selected strips to match. Currently, it takes the segment count of the higher resolution strip and then matches the lower resolution to the higher. Uh, we'll, we may change that as, or may give some options to you know, allow you to choose which one, to choose an average or whatnot, but for the time being, it chooses the higher. And so just to show you again, say I draw a strip here and I draw a strip here, and just to demonstrate the automatic adjustment, let me just take this strip way down and then I'll select this, hit Shift F, and notice that it's automatically adapted them. Now actually it looks like it may have done an average between the two uh, as, as opposed to just the highest, but that's cool. So the other good thing is that now that I have these patches, I can actually go in and I can adjust them further. So I can in increase the segments here, I can increase the segments here, and the patch is then in, you know, interpolated between them. There's, there's a few issues that we could definitely improve, you know, some things like some shifting in here that could be a little nicer. Uh, you know, that can be improved by adjusting the curves in here and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, this is the first version, and you'll see that there's a little bit of jumping in here. So those are all things that are going to continue getting approved, improved. But we can actually take it a little bit further where we, we can go ahead and chain patches. So we can do stuff like this, or say, like this. And so suddenly, Polystrips has a, the ability to do a lot more than it could previously do. You know, so we've got a little bit of an uh, error here where it's over, gone over itself. That's, you know, just a small... Uh, glitch that we're working on that sometimes happens. You know, this is still absolutely in alpha. We're, right now our goal is the uh, Polystrips 1.1 release, so this will be the next major upgrade. You may also notice, if you haven't been following the updates on Twitter and whatnot, that we also have uh, much nicer color drawing, so the colors of the strips have been updated and things are just looking a lot nicer overall. So this is Simple Fill so far. Again, it's not done, it's still very much in development, but it's already showing some really, really good potential and enabling you to do a lot more with Polystrips as far as getting your actual retopology done. So that's it. Uh, we've got a lot more coming, a lot more you know, things to do and whatnot, but hopefully then this will really work to, to start actually completing the retopology workflow.